everyone. Hello, WrestleZone. It's me, it's Tony Cliff, and I am here with one of the greatest men to ever live. A, a man who did, you know, I, I used to have that little coffin, right? Like a little chicken, right? He'd run around, and he'd go, be all making all the noise. You'd try to cut his head off, and his feet would keep going like this. And you're like, oh, I hate this little chicken, right? I want to grab him by the neck. Well, this man right here, this man, what's your name again? <laughs> That was a joke, it's Jerry the King Waller. That's right, this man right here, he finally got that little confidence. And he put him in his put him in his little grips like that, turned him upside down, dropped him on his that little dumb dumb head right there. God tell me, you know, it's been it's been what, 30 years? 35. 35 years! Do you know how many children have been born in that time? <laughs> no. Do you know how many of these children were sitting there and their parents were like, hey, let's put some Jerry Lawler, Andy Kaufman on the television and make some dreams happen here tonight. You know what I'm saying? Get it going. No, 30, 35 years ago, you dropped this man on his head. How does it feel? Does it still feel as good today when you wake up to know that you did it? Yes, it does. Oh, my God, Jerry Lawler here. He's so he's saying yes to my questions right now. You know, look at this guy right here, Jerry. This guy wants to be in the camera with us because we're very popular, famous oh, okay. people. So are you. All right, enough of that guy. He's a nobody. <laughs> so, Jerry the King Lawler. I want to ask you a question, Tony. Are you still working? You still working in Vegas? Oh, of course or? I'm still working. I work at a little place called the How You Do. Uh, the How You Do. That's right. You got to go to the end of the strip. It's called the How You Do. I'm there every night. At 4.30 in the morning, you can find me. It's the absolute best. There's a buffet right there. They call it the 4.30 Express, right? It's nothing but chicken and pad thai. It's amazing. It's the best little It's the best little buffet you can find in all of Las Vegas. I'm there. I'm singing my song. Would you like to what sing? What about after you eat? Do you get a moist towelette? I get a moist towelette. Of course I get a moist towelette. Look at me, Lawler. I don't like to sit here and sweat You're like sweaty. a little bit. I, I know I'm sweating right now, Jerry. I'm very familiar with what I am doing, Jerry Lawler. I am sweating right now because I have got a lot of things on my mind. Did you know? Did you know taxes were due just a couple days ago? Yes, I wrote a big check. You wrote a big check. I didn't write any check. I've been on the run for years. They can't catch me. All right. Well, after this video, they may be able. No, they don't know anything. These people, they can't catch me. I'm always too fast for them. So, uh, Mr. Lawler, uh, I got a question for you. I promised the people. By the way, we'll go. We're going to turn this around. The crowd that has come over here. For Andy Kaufman's uh, Tony Clifton, Jerry Lawler, and uh, Jerry, uh, I want to know. I promised these people I'd sing a song. Do you have a certain classic Vegas song that you would like me to regale everyone with right now? Well, the one you did in the movie, uh, Man on the Moon. Which one was that? You remind me. Uh, let's see. Oh, I Will Survive yes, at the end of the show? that's my favorite. You want me to do I Will Survive? All right, here we go. <clears throat> would you like to join in? We can maybe perhaps try to harmonize together, Mr. Lawler, right? No, I'll, I'll leave Here we it. go. Uh, uh, hit the note with me. Hit the note with me. Uh, there we go. Uh, first, I was afraid. I was putrefied. Putrefied. <laughs> Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. But then I spent... So many nights thinking how you did me wrong. You'd never do me wrong, Jerry. I love you. You're a great man. You almost broke that man's neck. In fact, you did. I used to cry. And now I hold my head up high. And now you're back from out of speed. Oh, clap. Clap for me. I just walked in behind you here with that sad look upon your face. I could have changed that stupid lock. I should have made you take that key. If I had known for just one second... You'd be back to bother me. Oh, I won't go. Walk out the door. Don't turn around now. You are not welcome anymore. <laughs> he was the one who used to puke me with desire. You think I'd crumble? No. No, I held my head up high. There we go. We're going to end it at that. Good. Everybody clap for me. I think they're clapping because it's over. No, they are very... <laughs> Jerry, that is a very negative thing to say. You know that these people paid very good money right now to see me entertain them at the Headlock Comic Booth. Now, wait. While we've got a moment here, we should give a little praise to the ice Hey, Mike Kingston, get over here, you bowling pin. All right, here we go. Mike Kingston, you got Jerry the King Lawler here. Yeah. What, what has it been like to work with a man like this, a legend? 
a Hall of Famer. The man, again, who did what I always wanted to do and dropped that stupid Andy Kaufman in his head. What has it been like to get him to do your little comic book? It's been all right. Yeah? Tell the people out there, that's great. I give you one opening here, Kingston, and you say, that is all right. You've got, my, you've got Jerry Lyle. You've got all these people watching live right now. Why should people check out you and Jerry's work with the Headlock Comics? Well, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty awesome wrestling comic. Uh, it's like an HBO-style drama about a kid working his way through the business. All the art's done by wrestlers. Jerry does the covers, like fantastic Norman Rockwell homages. And uh, the interiors are done by a Samoan wrestler from New Zealand. We've had like 25 different wrestlers do stories and art for it. It's, uh, it's pretty good stuff. Awesome. There is Headlock Comics. Go check them out. Uh, thank you very much, Michael King. So I'm going to be chatting. I'm going to send Nick Houseman over to talk to you, maybe get a nice little interview. This man right here, he is doing great things. He's got great, great picks and talent here. You got again, Jerry. Jerry, you've said too much in this interview here with me for Wrestles on right now. Uh, is there anything you'd like to leave? I, I just want, I just want one time. A lot of these are new viewers. I just want you to explain one time your animosity, your your hatred over all these years for Andy Kaufman. What was it all about? Well, here's the thing, Jerry. I'm very glad you asked me about this because a lot of people don't understand. When I was breaking into the scene, when I was really taking off in Las Vegas, this little Andy Kaufman who's running around, right? He's doing a taxi television show. And, and he's doing all of his little avant comedy, right? He's going in there. He's, he's touching the ladies. He's doing the wrestling. Well, for some reason, everybody seemed to think that Andy Kaufman and I, we shared like the same bloodline or something like that. And I am so offended by that. I am so offended by that hack. Andy Kaufman trying to ride my wife. I am Tony Clifton. I am the finest lounge singer in all of Las Vegas. I am a worldwide sensation. I am close, good, personal friends with the man that despises him, Jerry the King Lawler. And so for that reason, I, I am happy Andy is not here because he rode my coattails for too long. Okay. Thank you, Tony. Uh, I got to go. They opened the door to the men's room. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. We will talk to you another time here on the Russell Zone.